Oh god. Oh god, this is dangerous. You don't want it! Oh no! You got friends, huh? Okay, okay, one at a time, one at a time. I was gonna use them as a meat shield, but they're dead! Eat enchanted diamond sword! Mm. Yes! Oh, what did they drop? Another bow. Look at you. This is a mob loot. We're gonna keep that. Mm, nah, it's a bad bow. We don't need it. Uh, what's going on, guys? My name is Dezo. Welcome to episode 3 of Block Shock. Uh, I just came back from some wood collecting. Collected some of this kind of wood and some of this kind of wood. Um, there's not much spruce wood I can collect from this forest because you can't replant these spruce trees. You know, they don't grow like this anymore. That was a snapshot thing. Now these are replaced with dark oak. Uh, but I've done some amazing progress on this farm. And it's going to look amazing when it's done. And it'll be done today. Um, but... Uh, there is some cool stuff that has happened in a recording I tried to do, uh, but ended up not being able to use that recording for various topics that I talked about that I didn't fit, that I didn't see fit for uh, a YouTube channel about Minecraft. So there you go. Uh, so I'm going to cut away right now and uh, show you guys a little clip of me playing that thing over there. That's what one's built. Uh, but really quickly, before I cut away, actually, I know I said right now, but before I do, uh, I want to show you guys a little bit of a clip that's being overlaid right now of me enchanting my diamond sword. I got knocked back two on it. I was hoping that I would get, like, something along the lines of a fish, or I guess a sharpness four, and knock back two, maybe, or fire aspect, or something, instead of just knock back two, but I wasn't that lucky, so... There you go. Uh, so anyway, guys, I'll be right back. I'm going to cut to that clip. There's a baby zombie. Oh, my God. Fly away, baby zombie. Here he is. Come in. What are you doing, buddy? Jump. Jump, 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 jump around. Jump up, jump. Ah! Okay, okay. <laughs> Take a bunch of screenshots. Uh, anyway, guys. Um, so, yeah. I'll be right back. Enjoy the clip. So this is the three-card Monty. Uh, one iron per play. Test your luck. One iron. Okay. You can see some people have already played it. So what do we do here? Uh, let's walk in. Go down the ladder, I guess. Uh, torch. Button. Pick a chest. See what you get. Ooh. Okay, so there are three chests here. I don't, I don't know what to do. I guess I'll just take that. Mmm. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo, catch a tiger by the toe. If he hollers, let him go. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. My mother said to pick the very best one. And it is Y O U. You are the one my mother chose. And I don't really want to pick the middle chest. Damn it. Damn it. Oh my god. Okay. Woo. We got a piece of stone. Awesome. Um, <laughs> I always wanted one. How'd you know ones? You sly dog. All right, we're going to play again. Because I got a bit of a gambling problem. Actually, I actually had no idea what to expect. This is what three card Monty is. Is it Monty? Is it Monte? Is it French? Okay, middle chest. Oh. <gasps> Ooh, efficiency one pick. I like that. I like that. Should we just kill off that third piece of iron? Because I got a ton of it. You should have charged more ones. This is, like, this is a steal, man. I'm going to rob you at this rate. Okay, so we paid three iron and got a pickaxe and a piece of stone. I guess it's worth, right? Let's take this one, too. Are you... Mmm. Well. Well, okay. And a piece of dirt. And you know what, guys? Just so I don't seem like it's a total waste. Two pieces of dirt. Fantastic. Cool. <laughs> um, so, yeah. One seems to have squeezed out three iron from us. But that's okay, you know? It's always good to control your gambling before it becomes a problem. So there's a life tip for you guys. Uh, don't gamble, and you should be successful in life. Alright, guys. Welcome back. This chest is full, but full of actually very valuable woods that I like. Uh, okay, we have to make another chest. This is a hollow chest of flowers. I don't know what he's doing with it, but it's been on my property for a while. We may we may have to just kind of... What is it, what is it called? F mm, what is it called when a, when a bank like takes your house from you? Not foreclose. That's not what I'm thinking of. Uh, when, they, when they seize something because you didn't pay your bill. Uh, I don't know what it's called. Maybe, maybe that's not even the term I'm looking for. But uh, all I know is 
that's what I'm doing. We might, we might just have to clean that stuff for our own because it's been on our property for a while. Uh, but yeah, a lot of stuff has happened off camera. I thought I would go over a little bit with, with you guys. Uh, by the way, uh, I've learned that I'm stuttering right now, so I may not be able to compose a video of a knowledgeable person's quality, but I will try my best to sound like I know what I'm doing at this YouTube thing. So, <clears throat> especially because I've been doing it over a year. Um, over here is a bit of a really cool thing. So you can see this dark wood theme over here that we've been going with. And by the way, sorry for the background noise. Uh, there are people in the house that I wasn't able to get rid of, so there you go. Um, this is the dark wood. Uh, the dark oak wood that looks really nice and we've been using spruce 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 wood logs oak wood and it looks really good together this little like i guess the contract is, the contrast is real bro the contrast is real uh what we're gonna do today is kill this roof and i actually want to show you the inside of this place look how cool it looks i did this all oh, by the way we did a live stream where we streamed making the roads and stuff and yeah stuff's really coming together on the server i like it but yeah this is i've been loving this so much by the way, we're on with Irish Burrito and Stone Masters on a little bit ago. Uh, but, yes, yeah, so this is the little way I decided to make, to, to get up, you know. Uh, so, yeah, I think it looks really cool. It has this, it's got this. Not too sure what I think about the fences, but if we look on the outside of this place, uh, there's a bit of some architectural changes uh, I had to make based on the terrain we're sitting on. We're actually kind of floating above a water source. Uh, so, yeah, this is what I have so far. It looks really ugly, and I might just cover this up with dirt. And uh, just not even worry about it. But this is what I've come up with so far. We have to fill this in with glass, by the way. Yeah, this is what I thought would look cool. I was mistaken. And so we may want to fix that. But for now, we will make a do with what do we have to make a do with. I hope that makes sense. Um, okay, so by the way, that thing you made once, I didn't really say this in the clip, I don't think. That was very fun. I liked it. It's a very cool game. Uh, so. This is the house of food, and it's looking amazing. Uh, as for a roof design, I actually made a second chest so I can empty out my inventory so I can only take what I needed and ended up not taking anything. So, uh, <clears throat> now let's take this wood. We're going to need it. We're gonna take a stair. We're going to take this. We're going to take spruce as well. By the way, I've been having some trouble breathing. I think it's an allergies thing, but I'm not sure what kind of allergies there are at winter. And I don't think I have asthma. Though my family is is known to have some kind of dust allergy, and I, I, I think I might have some kind of like allergy where there's a lot of dust in my room hasn't been cleaned in a while, and so there might be a, a large dust population living in my room right now. But I figured we would just hop right into building because I made this kind of sprucey looking amazing roof that goes along nicely with this kind of wood. It's a lighter roof, which I went for. Uh, I'm thinking over here we could do something like this. And then just, just like, go like that. Maybe even raise this more. Uh, let's make ourselves one of these. Uh, we'll just put it over here, I guess. Need a lot of stairs for this. I don't think I have enough spruce wood for this project, so we may have to go far more. All right, this was one, one, two. And then finish off with uh, one, two, three. Big boy. Actually, we might want to do another one, two here. Because one, two, three. I think we're nearing the center. I hope we are. Because this roof is getting incredibly huge. Might be too huge. Where's the center? This would be the center. Let me see if this is too tall as it is. Ooh. Hmm. It might actually be okay. What is this? One, three. Three, yeah, it's a bit, it's a bit too steep. So yeah, we're gonna have to fix that. But that's all the part of the fun of the trial and error. Let me see what time it is on my phone because I don't have a lot of time to record. I actually have to go do something. And uh, so yeah, I'm gonna make sure I keep this episode around 15, 20 minutes. Hopefully, it's probably gonna go on longer. But I have to cut myself off at six o'clock. Damn it! I did not want to do that. I was actually kind of hoping in my head that it wouldn't, you know, break. But I don't know how it could not have broken from like a million block jump. Uh, but yeah, let's uh, we have to take this down. I gotta make a new axe because that's that's not going well for me with this axe. Uh, so let's take this down. Can I reach that all? Oh, there's more roof than I expected. My mom has been looking at me. She's like, Dan, are you okay? I'm like, what do you mean? She's like, your eyes look sick. 
I don't know if you heard this, but apparently, based on the way your eyes look, my mom can tell you if you're sick or not. And I'm not sick. I can't be sick again because I was just sick twice. So I'm not going to be sick again because i got to fight my body on this one. I think it's just because I've been trying to uh, eat a lot of fiber. I don't know. Maybe I'm allergic to fiber. But you never know. The body is a wonderfully mysterious thing. I will do one of these bad boys, and then we'll go in like this. Raise it again. And we'll go in here. Raise it by two. And we'll go in like this. And then we'll go in here. Raise it by three. And then we'll be at the top. Fantastic. I like that better. And then we can just do a log type of pattern. Can I grab that, please? Mm, that's probably going to be lost forever, which kind of sucks. Uh, yeah, so I think that's what's going to happen here. Let's let's take a look at this. I'm going to have to do the other side as well. Whoa! That's a really tall height, but I like the slant of it. So it's coming out pretty well. I'm not sure if the roof will trump the size of the house because it is the size of the house. If it'll make the house look worse or better, I decay, honestly. But it is a really tall roof, and this house is looking amazing so far. Um, I'm really liking this. I'm thinking of doing some kind of beam support type thing up top here as well. Um, so that's that's happening. Um, but yeah, I think what's going to happen now is to make my life a little bit easier and not have to copy it over right now. I may not be able to copy it in this episode. I'm just going to start stretching the spruce wood out this way so I can just do it on the other side without having to block for block it with my eyes. I'm going to actually ask some kind of measurement. So, <clears throat> it's time to talk about a subject that I want to talk about today. And it's another school one. I've been having a lot of school stories. I gotta say, of my high school years so far, junior year is both the hardest and my favorite. And there are some reasons behind it. First one being, um, I feel like in in uh, in junior year, you start to kind of know your way around things. As a freshman, everybody's kind of confused. Uh, everybody doesn't really know what's up. And then as a like, you know, everybody's trying to make sure that their initial image is better than it used to be. Everyone's trying to better themselves. And then in sophomore, everybody's like, oh, yeah, I'm so cool. What's up? You know, because I'm a sophomore, not a freshman. And then that's when you're the biggest butthole because you insult all the freshmen. I was never one insult to freshmen. Uh, actually, I do insult. <coughs> oh, my God. So my freshman friends, like my neighbor, he's a freshman, but I talk to him all the time. So he's a cool kid. But I just, you know, sometimes I just kind of razz him for being a freshman, which is there's nothing wrong with it. It's just part of the tradition. Um, luckily in my school, people don't actually like beat each other up for being freshmen, but yeah, I've heard stories of things happening in other schools, but anyway, not to get off topic, um, as a junior, you, you kind of actually know your way around things. You, you understand what high school is. You understand the importance of high school because you're in the second half. You're done with the first half and now colleges are on your ass about stuff. I used to do this with the wrong wood. That's not good. It might be good, actually, but I'm not going to take a chance with this. Um, now, colleges are on your ass, and so you got to make sure your grades are amazing and stuff. And it gets even worse when your parents are foreign, as in from, like, from a different country. My parents are Russian, so A is an average grade. <laughs> uh, so if you don't get at least an A, you're dumb. Which, by the way, A is the highest grade if you're not from America. I'm not sure what kind of grades you guys have in the other countries. But, yeah, so things start to get pretty real in junior year so that's why it's my that's why i think it's the hardest year but it's also my favorite because i feel like uh my friends i i guess i have more friends that's one thing i've been kind of more social uh because you know school doesn't really it's not it's not worth being ignored anymore you have to be serious about it otherwise you're screwed so everybody has a kind of common goal right now of succeeding and so there you go makes for easy conversation topics makes good friends um but yeah, so today in chemistry class, I uh, have a teacher that's kind of awkward. Not just today, she's always been awkward. Uh, and so today in chemistry class, we're talking about uranium. Your average everyday uranium, you know, whatever. Using nuclear bombs, nuclear plants, whatever. Uh, so she's like, what if somebody offered you $100 million to live in a nuclear power plant for a month? I'm like, yes, I would do it. And she's like, um, you would be dead. And I said, you would never said I had to live in the reaction chamber or anything like that. I can live wherever I want. So I, uh, why did I come down here anyway? I had more stairs. Um, so I would just live outside of the reaction chamber 
and I'd be totally fine, and I would be laughing because I would have a hundred million dollars. And she's like, "Okay, um, well, what if you had to live in the reaction chamber?" I'm like, "Even if I did have to live in the reaction chamber, I would just do it with a hazmat suit or whatever, and I'll be fine." Uh, and then she's like, um, "No, you have to be dressed as though." So already she's kind of getting mad because I'm just poking holes in her, and uh, uh, she was kind of laughing, like because I feel like I'm the I, I provide enough comic relief. In my, in my class that I can pretty much do whatever I want and not get a teacher mad. She's So she's trying to, like, outwit me here, but that's impossible because I'm a witty mother f- fruit. And uh, she's like, okay, you have to live as though you're dressed normally in your house. I'm like, I'm dressed in a hazmat suit all the time. Have you seen my room? And everyone's just, like, laughing and stuff, having a good time because I'm being a comic little bugger. I'm not even British, but I said it, so there you go. Um, being a comic little person. And she is kind of laughing too at this point and uh after the laughter kind of dies down she's like so i just said have you seen my room and then she's like maybe i have and i'm like what because she just said something that wasn't very school appropriate so i'm like okay that's enough let's continue with the chemistry teach me the isotopes you know (laughs) Uh, so it was very, very awkward, very, very moment ruining, but I guess that's what you do when you have an awkward teacher. You kind of got to, instead of take it as an awkward moment, take it as a YouTube moment and, uh, you know, tell it in a video. That's actually kind of cool because every time I have stories to tell, (coughs) excuse me, every time I have stories to tell, I always like think of it as a YouTube story, which is pretty cool. And I write them down on my phone so I don't forget them. So there you go. Um, so... Today is Monday as I'm recording this video, and Tuesday is coming around for you guys when you see this video, and so happy Tuesday to you future folk, Um, but Thursday, I don't have anything to worry about because it is my birthday. Why did I turn this all on a plank? That was not a good idea. It's my birthday, so that's really cool because my birthday's on Thursday, and so I'm probably going to be making a video for that. I might live stream. Now, let me tell you this. I can't make any promises because a couple friends and I were thinking of getting together for my birthday and just hanging out at my house. So, I might not have time to make a video. But hopefully I do. And maybe if things fall through, I might be able to do a live stream. But, you know, it's uh, it's it's uh, there's a teacher's convention going on in New Jersey. I'm not sure if it's a nationwide thing. But uh, a bunch of schools in New Jersey don't have school Thursday and Friday. So... Our school is one of them, and it's like the the convention itself is on Friday, but they give the days off on Thursday as well, and it's just because it's my birthday. So they give all of New Jersey the school day off. So you're welcome, New Jersey. But in all reality, in all actuality and seriousness why is there no chunks? Why are they not loading? F3A. In all reality, uh, ooh, that's Burrito's house. That looks really cool. Um, things are going pretty well for me. I'm turning 16 years old, which is really cool. Uh, I'm 15, but I'm a junior in high school, so I guess I'm kind of young. In fact, I am really young for my age because everybody is around me is like 17 or turning 17. So I'm kind of a year young, and there's a long story behind it, but a uh, quick, too long, didn't read type thing. Uh, I went to school a year early because instead of, instead of going to preschool, I kind of skipped in and went to kindergarten, and then all my friends were going to first grade. And I'm like, Mom, can I go to first grade too? And so she talked to the principal, and the principal gave me like a little test. And it's like, here, spend a day in first grade. And I spent it. And I said it was easy. And he's like, yeah, sure, go to first grade. I'm like, cool, awesome. So uh, first grade it was. And so I turned six there instead of turning seven there. And so I was very young. But I was, I'm was, i kind of convinced that my mom kind of lied to me about my age. Because uh, starting as a sophomore, late sophomore year, I was 15. Um, which is still, I guess, this year, I started growing facial hair. Like, I'll, like it's it's growing, man. Like, I'm I grow like a chin, like not not really just a chin. I grow from like my ear under my head to my ear. Like, I, I grow a neck beard, if you will, uh, and it grows a bit. Like, it's grow. Oh, there's a witch there. Those things are freaking terrifying. By the way, I'm here to grab some wood. Um, but anyway, I grow facial hair, and I've been growing facial hair for a while. So I'm thinking my mom may have lied. Oh, no, 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 no. I don't have any arrows. No, no, no. Run. Round two. You don't want this. Why why is she? Yes, she died. And we lived. Fantastic. Those things aren't as scary anymore, are they? Uh, What you got? 
There you go. Suck it, witch. Those things are terrifying. Okay, do I have any kind of fancy schmancy stuff? I don't. So I'm going to have to make a wooden one, which is going to make you guys scream because this is terrible. But we have to collect this wood because I need it for my house. So yeah, uh, I want to talk to you guys because I'm 16 now. Anyway, the point is my mom didn't lie to me about my birth certificate. I know I'm 15 years old. I'll be 16 on Thursday. And uh, <clears throat> as a 16-year-old, I now have access to a driver's permit, which means I'll be driving a lot soon, which is which doesn't just bring good things in the driving scene. Uh, it also brings things like gym skipping. We have to do six hours of like a driving thing to get our permit, and we drive with an instructor from the DMV, and uh, he just shows us around how to drive and stuff. And uh, like once a day during my gym period of school, I go with him and he drives me, uh, or I guess I drive him around and he teaches me what to do. So. Uh, then he gives me my permit after my six hours are up, but it's six hours worth, so I get a week off of gym, and uh, during that week, we're playing football in the wet, cold outside, so I get to skip that, which is amazing. Uh, in addition, my my gym starts, my like my, I don't I didn't have a gym for the first quarter of the year, uh, but my gym class starts, go away phone, uh, my gym class starts in the same period that my health class took before, which is third period, which is very early in the day, it's like... 10 o'clock or something so I get to be sweaty all day every day for the rest of the year except for the week after my birthday because I'll be driving so there you go that's going to suck but <laughs> I've been doing it for the last couple of years so hopefully things are going to be okay and I'm sure they are things always seem to be okay uh, you know maybe wear some extra deodorant or something I don't know but we have to figure that out that's not a you problem that's a me problem so I'm gonna save you that that you know, I'm going to spare you that. So I'm going to have to head back home now, which is a pretty far walk. Just kidding. We're already here. Uh, my throat's very dry. I'm going to need some water, but the only bottles of water I have on my desk are empty. So, yeah, I drink a ton of water, guys. I don't know if you guys drink water or not, but I do, and I drink a lot of it. So if you guys are one of those people who just live without drinking water, you guys are kind of strange, aren't you? Please load the chunks when I approach you. God, this is Stun Mask's house. Hi, Stun Mask. You nice guy. I like you. You have a nice building skills. Ashbrito, what is he doing? I don't know what, he, where, what he's up to, but yeah, we may not finish the roof today because I feel like this episode's going on pretty long, and if not long enough already, it's definitely approaching. So I'm pretty sure I'm gonna just kill whatever wood I have left, and then I'm gonna call an episode. So yeah, we have a lot of it though, which is good. So let's run over. I don't know why this takes so long. I feel like I'm running really slowly in this game. Uh, that's a thing, but it's probably because my FOV is normal, and I've been playing on, like, 80 for a little bit off camera. I do a lot of that stuff off camera. For example, um, when I'm not recording, I use this clacky keyboard. I just dropped my uh, sword. That's not a good idea. Anyway, yeah, this keyboard's still connected, but it's clacky, which doesn't really sound too good for YouTube, so I don't use it. Uh, but it's still connected to my computer, and every time, uh, I'm done recording, I swap this keyboard, which is for my clacky one because my clacky mechanical one just feels a lot better by the way look at that roof that looks amazing i like that a lot please run without screwing up i know i can't just run and keep running it always stops me you think they fixed that by now um but anyway uh mechanical keyboard very nice i like it it's the razor black widow by the way in case you're wondering i've used it before in videos but i ended up not continuing that because it sounded obnoxious and so I had to spare you so you're welcome uh, okay let me just put all this in because we gotta go rush mode super fast mode um, another thing that's going on right now is the race and I haven't been much of a Call of Duty guy for a while I've been playing a lot of Minecraft because that's what I do on YouTube but as some of you may know my first YouTube channel was Call of Duty and so Every year I buy the new Call of Duty. I haven't been excited for this year's though. Uh, this year Call of Duty Ghosts is coming out, which is coming out tomorrow actually, or today for you guys. Uh, and uh, a bunch of people already have the game, like they get it early. And something that's going on right now is called The Race. And The Race is like this thing which happens every year. It's a bunch of YouTubers, uh, I, 
I feel like if I try to name them all, I'll mess up. But it's a bunch of them all living at the same house. They set up this room, and they're doing a 24-7 live stream. And they're going to keep going until they reach the max level in Call of Duty. It's called The Race. And I'm pretty sure they... I mean, I know they accomplished it last year. I'm not sure if they were the first to accomplish it. But right away, from day one, or I guess day negative one, because they haven't have released the game, and they're already doing it uh, as I'm recording this video, which is yesterday for you guys. Assuming you're watching on the first day it comes out. Uh, they're already doing this live stream, and on the first day they got 50,000 viewers, which is incredible. Um, so yeah, that that's a thing, and it's very entertaining. I like it. Call of Duty Ghosts looks actually really good, and so I'm excited to buy it and play it. Fortunately, ever since I started doing YouTube and receiving some sort of minimum income, my mom no longer pays for anything for me anymore. So I'm going to save up. A little bit of YouTube money, not that I get any at all, I'm probably not going to get paid this month. But next month, I will be paid. And so, I am going to buy Call of Duty Ghost. I'm not going to play for YouTube though, because I'm sure you guys won't watch it. I've learned my lesson with uh, Max Payne, and I've learned my lesson with yeah, League of Legends, because neither of those videos received any views at all. But, ooh, this, you know what would be better? If we raise this up by one. Okay, let's, uh... Chop this. Oh my god! Jesus Christ, this is a dangerous thing. Uh, hopefully that zombie that I hear doesn't come up right now. You know what I'm gonna do right now, actually? I gotta be careful, though, because I'm not in a safe environment right now. Uh, let's do this. Make a bunch of sticks. And we're gonna make a bunch of ladders. Sh you guys remember the board game Shoots and Ladders? I don't know how that came into my head. But do you guys remember that board game? That was fun. Alright, let's go. We're moving up. In this world. Oof. I'm getting a bit, uh, gaseous in the stomach. That was a burp. Let's grab this dirt. Move over. Uh, so yeah, Call of Duty Ghosts. I like it. I think it looks pretty cool. Uh, a lot of people are complaining about it, but that happens every year with Call of Duty. Uh, what happens every year is actually everyone's like, the last Call of Duty is amazing. Uh, so, Black Ops. Even though I kind of like Black Ops, too. I think the community kind of liked it, too. The Call of Duty one. Not the Minecraft community. Uh, but the people seem to like Black Ops too. No! This is annoying. <clears throat> Ooh. Four deaths on the server. Is that how you spell it? Roofs? Or is it roofs? Oh my god. This is brutal. I don't know how I'm gonna live because I'm doing it with this crappy little wooden pick or wooden axe. You know what you guys can learn from now? First, never build giant roofs. By the way, I'm gonna cut this episode here. Never build giant roofs and never, ever settle. Make sure you always go get what you want, always go home. And upgrade your pickaxes and your and your doohickeys and whatnot. Get the good axes. Don't settle for the crappy wooden ones. Because it will do you no good. Make sure you get the best every time. Okay? If you don't get the best, you'll get upset. And you'll have to end your videos because you're so upset that you're stupid and you screwed up the roof. God damn it. Alright guys. Uh, hope you enjoyed. I gotta stop jumping off of things. Uh, but it's all good. Alright, guys. Catch you next time. I'm gonna take a screenshot right now for the thumbnail. There's a tree in the way. Come on, tree. Should I just do this? This is what I'm doing all the time. Just building little wood things because I'm out of blocks to build with. What do I think of this view? There you go. Solid screenshot thumbnail. Okay, guys. Take it easy.